play violin with the Adrian Symphony Orchestra. Music director Bruce Kiesling suggested sharing some interesting facts or things about me. So here are nine things you may not know about me. I am the office manager of a law practice in Ann Arbor. There are two attorneys and we have a very heavy caseload. Here's a video peek at where I spend my days. We moved to this new location last January and I've been working here through the shutdown and all through the pandemic. Our clerks work remotely and even though I have the capability of working remotely, it's much easier for me to come to the office and work. I'm fortunate that one of the two attorneys is my son, John. And here is his office, and you can see a lot of Wisconsin memorabilia. Both he and I are graduates of the University of Wisconsin. And this is my room, as I call it. My son always corrects me to say it's my office. And here's the computer which I work at all day long. I live in Ann Arbor with my husband, John. I am fortunate that he is very supportive. His dad was a professional bassoonist, so he completely understands. From cooking meals to attending my concerts and oftentimes driving me to rehearsals and concerts in bad weather, he does it all. Son John lives in Celine with his lovely wife Stacy and their two children, Adeline and Anderson. Our daughter Katie lives in Cambridge, Massachusetts and she's a nurse practitioner. She works as a hospitalist at Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston. We are looking forward to seeing her face to face as soon as it is safe to travel. We haven't been together since last December. FaceTiming helps, but it's just not the same. I imagine many of you feel the same way about being with your loved ones. I've been busy during this pandemic. The biggest change is that I haven't had any orchestra rehearsals or concerts. I've been practicing every day, and I've been teaching private lessons via Zoom, and I can't wait until the day that I can get back to teaching in person. I really miss the direct contact with my students. I've gone from my birthplace of Elgin, Illinois, where I started playing violin, to the music school in Madison, Wisconsin, then on to the Milwaukee area, where we started our family. My husband's work brought us to Ann Arbor where we have enjoyed living the past 35 years. What brought me to the Adrian Symphony initially was an opera. In April 1994, conductor David Katz needed a principal second violinist for the production of La Traviata. His principal violist, Carolyn Tarzia, who many of you know, told David, I have a neighbor who plays violin. That's how it began. Although I do not have a program from La Traviata, as you can see, I have a collection of booklets from all the other operas we performed. Remember these? Did you sing in any of these? They were fun to perform. The following fall, I was asked back and moved to assistant concertmaster, sitting next to my late friend, Julia Kurtika. And in the fall of 1997, I moved to concertmaster. Over the years, there have been so many memorable concerts. Do you remember when Itzhak Perlman came to play the Beethoven Violin Concerto with us? Or the Brunch with the Classics series? I remember them fondly because they gave me so many opportunities to play wonderful chamber music. We did string quartets, a string trio, oh, flute quartet, clarinet quintet, and my most favorite piece of all, Mendelssohn's Piano Trio in D minor. Over the years, I have met and made friends with many of the great folks in Adrian and Lenaway County. I miss very much playing with my ASO colleagues for you, the audience. 
I hope to see you in one of these seats at our next concert. Until then, stay safe.